Texas Tech Sports. This is KMAX Red Raider Nation. Sponsored by Capital Mortgage Services. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lauren Cottrell and welcome into Red Raider Nation. With football season now only 23 days away, we'll continue to dig through the depth chart of positional breakdowns this afternoon, but this time taking a look at the other side of the ball with a big topic of conversation this offseason, the defensive line, a position that defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter promises to be a particularly deep group this season, all with the mental and physical toughness needed to lead the D. It's no secret that the Big 12 is considered to be a strong offensive conference, making the work of a defense that much more important, especially for the guys who come directly face to face with those offenses, the defensive linemen. Texas Tech's 2022 defensive line is favorable to be a deep group under the direction of new position coach Zarnell Fitch. And leading that pack again this year are seniors Tony Bradford and Jalen Hutchings, who had his best season to date in 2021 one leading the D-line in total tackles. And as a duo, the two combined 37 solo tackles on the season. The Big 12, that is ranked ninth this year uh, coming out. And that's just, that's not where we want to be at all. It's just a ranking. So we'll take that to heart and um, build up on it. You know what I'm saying? People don't think much about us and we're going to prove them wrong. There are also some new faces added to the defensive line this season, the first of those being Red Raider track and field star Gabe Oladipo, who decided to give football a try after exhausting his track and field eligibility in June. In addition, freshman four-star Joseph Adetere has been on defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter's watch list for a while now, saying Adetere exhibits the mental and physical toughness that a defensive lineman needs. And while some may question the youth of this group as a whole, the size and strength of these new guys are sure to add some grit to this already tough room. We've got a fairly solid about one and a half deep uh, and we've got some new guys that have joined us this summer, uh, both freshmen and transfers, and they're going to have opportunities to get in that two deep. But I, I like, you know, like I said, that first one and a half, I think, I think we've got some guys that can play. We've got a good start on it. 